Oh my gosh! It just like wants to kill us. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Well, that solved our issue. Hey guys, what is up? Fenru here, and today we are back again with the Veil. <clears throat> Let me just get situated here, and um, I am so excited. I have so much to show you. Let's put our armor on real quick. I have gotten so much done, and it's the reason why I've been taking forever. Let's just talk real quick, because there's just so much that I have to talk about. Um, while I have been gone, it's been probably almost a full week and I have been working on this world every single day we've been we've been taking some hits uh, with the veil because I completely hello pig um, oh look I guess he didn't want to talk to me but <clears throat> um, with this it this world should be more advanced than it is this is episode seven and you know just the last episode i didn't even have a house you know and so uh because we had to restart i wanted to catch us up so um it took me forever and i've done a lot a lot a lot of work and i have a lot planned for to you today and i hope with all hopes that you guys will enjoy our redstone creation today today i had a comment down below that said flying machine I also have built my house and I've already got most of the flying machine built we're gonna have to hop over to build it step by step into another world because it was just too much of a task to go through all of it in this world but I will still show you step by step how to do it um, and actually today so let's uh, let's uh, show you what we've done so far actually and as you can see, there's something up with that mountain. This mountain, to me, looks completely normal. Let's uh, scooch a little closer because there's supposed to be some uh, banners there. There we go. We've also got up there that floating island. I've changed so much, guys. Um, that right there is our house. And let's actually time set day real quick just so I can keep talking to you. Um, <clears throat> we've got all of these empty now because we've moved our storage into our house and it's going to be in a little bedroom in there and I'll show you that. Let's actually pick up this because I want to move this into the house too uh, and we can do that real quick. We'll just reset it up in a special spot that I have selected for it. Let's actually just use this iron pickaxe. It's interesting it was still burning. Oh yeah, I was cooking stone in it, wasn't I? Oh goodness. Okay, um, so we'll need our blast furnace, hoppers, two chests. Two, two, two chests. Where'd the third chest go? Like, I, there was three chests there, right? Right? Can we like rewind and like count the chests? <laughs> Because, like, come on. Come on. Three chests. Anyways, I guess we'll just take one of these chests. Doesn't look too bad. And let's go and explore a new house, shall we? And I will get to that later. That has to do with our contraption up there. As you can see, there's bookcases. And that will lead you to believe that there's something inside those bookcases. And I bet you know exactly what is inside there. Uh, it would be an enchantment table, an enchanting table. I have one. It took me so long. I have collected so much, so much cobblestone. So much cobblestone. Not cobblestone. Well, I've collected that too. So much obsidian. You know how long obsidian takes? I completely forgot the word for obsidian. That's how long I spent mining it. It's ridiculous. Over here, I just kind of like flattened out this cave a little. Uh, so that I could, you know, just 
get more cobblestone because I used a lot of it. Um, I went for kind of a castle style build that like has hallways that kind of pop out the side of the mountain. I think that's cool. So let's uh, run inside real quick. All right, so this is the entrance. And I think my favorite part of this build would have to be this right here, the porch slash balcony slash hallway like entrance i don't even know what to call this but it's got like pillars and then if you come over this way you're actually technically standing kind of outside you have a roof though um so it's not outside outside but you know it's kind of it's very open i don't feel trapped and so in here i have my little room i moved my storage system in there as you can see so if we go in here also little rugs got little rugs everywhere i love little rugs and it gets really dark in here like it's like absurdly dark for me like my computer screen is just dark and i think that's because i have like both windows all the lights on it's really bright in this room so that my face will show nicely to you but as you can see, I have the same nine. I also added three more. Two are empty currently because I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably have like a another one and then like something else for that. Maybe like an overflow for tools because I know my tools always get filled up with half used stuff and mistakes like this. Uh, my map apparently. Um, I am cold. I get cold really easily doing this. Anyways, so that's, that's my little room right here. Yes, uh, this door right here, it goes back behind here. Simple as that, so you guys don't have to wonder about what that door is. Um, then, it goes over to the right, and it's a hallway. And it's nifty, and if you go right here, look, it, it, you can also look outside. And it's so nice and awesome. Also, ignore that bridge because later on, this is all gonna be just like filled and this river right here is just gonna be an underground river because I don't like this river here. It's easier to just walk over it. <laughs> right here is where I want to build our automatic smelter and it's just gonna be in the wall. So let's get to building that real quick. So we place our chest, after that we have a hopper and then we have our blast furnace. We got a hopper going into the side and then a hopper going into the top. And we're gonna have to actually make that stairs, aren't we? So let's let's cut these out real quick and we'll go get some cobblestone stairs because that will make it that will make it so that it actually looks nicer. Let's see. Cobblestone stairs. One, two, three and we can actually open that chest. Otherwise, that chest would have been like unusable. So then we got one, two, three. Now we can take this chest, let's crouch, got it. And then crouch, put that one there, and we'll stick our lever on the side here. And if we really want to have a furnace, we'll just, we'll just go stick our furnace in here. Do, do, do. I hate the running mechanics on this. We'll just stick it right there, because why not? Okay. So now that we've got that, let's uh, go ahead and fill it with coal. I have gotten a lot done right there up in that, up in this. Wait, here, where am I on this? I want to be right there, maybe? No, there. You know what? I got a lot of ore. I don't know where it's at in comparison to my face right now, but you know what? I can see it on the screen and it's right there. Let's collect this coal. We can go stick it inside of our smelter here. Just stick it inside of here. And I'll collect all that and we'll go ahead and just stick our stone back in there because that's what we were... Oh, what? On earth. There we go. Now it should be. You know what I just realized? This is a blast furnace. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
so we can't even do that. It's okay, I don't need that much smooth stone. Later on, I plan on doing something with all the smooth stone, which I hope you guys will love, and it's gonna be a big surprise. So we'll just see how that goes. Oh shoot, my cobblestone, that's what I needed for it. What do I need? 12? Uh, doot, doot. There we go. All right. So that's for the observers because I need to make some observers. Let's go on and continue our exploration. Uh, over here, we have another window area right next to this waterfall right here. And it goes down into that cave system down there. Well, it actually. I stopped it because that's my mining cave. That's where I get most of my ores. <laughs> Up this way, we have where our nether portal is going to be placed. And it is a simple 3x3 three three nether portal, which I hope works in Java Edition. It works in Bedrock Edition. I know that much. Um, this is going to go down to 12, so I can start strip mining, and I can find diamonds way faster, and I don't have to spend the hours that I have put in it just finding ores. Uh, and then down this way... You can see all the obsidian I've collected. All of it. And up there, and right here you see a button, but sounds like it does something, right? Don't know what it does yet. Looks like this contraption is missing some pieces. And those pieces our observers and that my friends is why we are going to the nether and i hope you're ready all right do we have our food we do we do indeed we have plenty of the noms let's go get ourselves two pieces of nether quartz yeet oops sticky keys always do it Always do it. Back to him. All right. Look at that. Look where we are. We're going to freaking die. Oh, my gosh. This was the worst placement for the... N what the freak? How did I not die? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. We need to... I don't have enough cobble for this. This is... Okay, well... Let's just... Collect this. And we'll look around a bit. Hopefully not die. Not looking to lose my diamond pickaxe. Took me forever to get. And it's so helpful. I think this is enough nether quartz, don't you? Let's go look up this way. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Um, we'll climb up and collect this nether quartz while we're at it. I hear that gasp. I hear it. It's crying, and it's making those weird sounds that gasps do when they're just like, huh, I'm close by, but you'll never find me. And uh, then I'll pop out of nowhere and start making you explode. Are those two baby zombie pigmen? Oh my, oh my gosh. Okay. Glad you don't hate me. Did you just hurt yourself by jumping up there? All right. Ready? Ready? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh. Okay. Um... Let's see, how can I do this in a way that would be like, oh, oh, oh my gosh, okay, ready? We're gonna attack this one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I hit it, I hit it. Did it think it took fall damage? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you are so powerful. You have your tiny little golden sword and it does a lot of, oh my gosh. Well, let's go get our stuff. Um, We're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. And I'll catch you when I get my stuff. Oh my gosh. It just like wants to kill us. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Well, that solved our issue. 
Oh my gosh, no, this baby freaking thing is so fast. Oh my gosh, we Ah! Ah! I don't want to hit you because your parents are here! Ah! Oh my gosh, go away! Okay, ready? I'm ready for you now. Come at me, bro. Oh my gosh, maybe I'm not ready. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeet did that. And you saw nothing. <sighs> that was, uh, pretty stressful. But we got our stuff back, which is awesome. Let's go make our observers. And let's see what this red stone contraption does. So we're going to run in here. We're going to sleep because I don't like the nighttime. Creepers will just walk into my house through the windows out of nowhere and try to explode. And I literally have to run. Like, I jump out of my windows. I can't tell you how many times I've jumped out of my windows to escape from a creeper. It's ridiculous. Oh, creeper! Creeper! Oh, my God! I forgot to build an observer. Okay, so observers are kind of like, you go like this, and then you go like this, and then you go like this, yes! So it takes six cobblestone, two redstone, and another quartz. That's how you create an observer, and it is the most useful block I've ever known. Okay, now, since y'all know I'm going up to an enchanting table, I'm going to grab some lapis lazuli. And we're going to go enchant ourselves. Well, sorry. We're going to make ourselves a diamond sword, and then we're going to enchant it. And that, and then maybe name it. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, let's see. That's two blocks, three blocks, and four iron. Okay, so we're just gonna do, 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 do. make ourselves an anvil because those are always, always useful. And where will I put it? I'll put it right right here we'll put it right here and then let's get ourselves dose diamonds that's three and we got a stick already let's make ourselves a sword nice now we can get rid of this thing which i literally only built the other night because my sword just broke and put it back because now we have an epic sword and your just so pretty sitting there in there like you own the place we're not going back in there there's no reason to go down there let's go put this observer in its spot so we want the redstone right we want an observer here we want the redstone to face this empty space right um then or the redstone output side i guess then we want another one here. Let's use that because we can break it quickly. Um, we need to have that one with the redstone output facing the top. And <sighs> well, there it went. <sighs> Guess I'm gonna go back and get it oh. I gotta go freaking climb out a window go up the side of a mountain and we're gonna have to get up there the hard way and then send it down and then get down the hard way and then we'll proper do that so i'll i'll uh see you in one second when i do all that okay we're back let's uh go stand on this this time so we got those down and we got to stand on this little area because this is these four blocks right here are a safe area to stand on 
and it brings us up there. So let's click this button. It sends us up there. Takes a little bit. And ba bam we're up here. So let's go ahead. We're going to enchant this baby. Sweeping edge? I don't know what that does, but we got it. So now we can come back here and we sand on it and we click our button again. Also, just look at this pretty view. Look at this. It's so beautiful right there. This is going to be our kingdom and we're going to see it everywhere with our castle on this mountain. We've already started our castle, but we're going to be a huge kingdom. We're going to be the Vale. Now let's go back down. And we're here. Pretty awesome. Now that is the... <clears throat> It's like a flying machine slash elevator. We're just gonna say flying machine. But that is the flying machine that Mumbo Jumbo used in Hermitcraft season five. All I did was put this block from there to there, and that's all I changed. Um, so that I could just have it be like three wide. Cause I don't like the two wide right there. Three wide's better for me. Um, so we've got that and it goes up and down and I'm gonna teach you how to build it. So let's switch over to that world. All right, here we are. Now, as you can see, this is the machine that I have built and I'm gonna show you how it works and then we are going to step by step build it again right next to it and if my Mouse will stop glitching. So right here, um, we have a piston going, a sticky piston going up, a sticky piston going down, and then we have two slime blocks, we have two observers, and then this is our obsidian, and that is our stationary block. So no matter how hard we push it, it's not gonna move. It also works with furnaces and certain other blocks, but obsidian looks the best, so I spent hours collecting it. <laughs> Um, over here, I, these are the items you'll need, basically, um, in my hotbar. You have two sticky pistons, which are those two right there. You're going to have two observers, that one there, that one there. And you have six slime blocks. You have these two that are going checkered. And then on the back end, you're going to have these four right here that hold up the four of your choice block. So for that one, I chose stone. This one, I'm going to choose spruce planks. Um, you're going to need two sticky pistons for the, uh, the way to activate it, I guess. So for me to have a button, it's literally, it's literally so easy. It's a button with some redstone that activates a sticky piston with a block on it. And it puts it up in front of the observer's face and sin, and then brings it back down. And that sends it a signal. It's time set day real quick how do you do weather clear goodness I thought I was gonna have to be like weather set clear or something but uh, then when you want to come back down instead of having a button that does that for this one you'll have one that does it for this one and that will be how it comes back down because then it activates this piston first instead of that piston so we're gonna go ahead and send it up and watch it go so that piston on the right <clears throat> is kind of pulling it up as the one on the left is pushing or is pushing the there's two chunks two main chunks so you have two layers is the way I like to look at it you have this layer of three on the bottom and then you have the rest of it uh, on the top, which is two, and that's where it splits. So this sticky piston pushes all of these blocks right here, it pushes them up. And then this, when this gets moved up, you have this observer right here, and he goes, uh, oh, I moved. And he poots out a little signal, which activates this piston, which sticks out and grabs this slime block, which pulls these three blocks back up, 
And when that happens, this guy goes, oh, now I've moved. And he poots out a little signal right into this space, which activates the sticky piston, starting the whole thing over again. So if we want to go back down, it literally is so easy. You can just put like a spruce button or something on it. It'll pop off and now it's going down. And you can see how it works. It pushes and then pulls it. Now let's go ahead and start building the other one. So what we're going to want to do... Oh, I need to fly, sorry. We're going to have to have... Well, one, on our obsidian, we're going to want our sticky piston going up, a slime block, ah, a sticky piston going down, another slime block. Now this observer needs to be facing down with its redstone signal going up, so we're going to put those there real quick just because it's a block. We're going to make sure that it's facing down and that that's its face oh yeah also that's the mistake i made the first time once you do that it uh oh i needed to change these sorry i haven't broken all the blocks i needed to so let's let's uh get back to this now i'm just gonna break those we're gonna have to have a sticky piston facing down so we're gonna go up and then place one like that so that we have that one facing down. Just place another slime block. That'll be fine. And now this top level here is where you're going to go one, two, three, one. And that'll be the rest of your slime blocks. For right here, you're going to go one, two, three, four of your choice of block. Those are the blocks you'll be standing on. And then you'll just need one more observer and you'll need it facing, oh, not down. It's just fine. So instead, of, you're not going to want it facing down. You're going to want its face. <sighs> hold on. Hold on. I got this. I swear. I got this. You're going to want its face going that way. So it puts out a signal right in this little space here. And if you want, you can always have like something else sitting here. Like I have obsidian, I think either obsidian or a furnace right there so it like looks nice and then now when you stand on it you can have right here you're gonna at the bottom so you can actually activate it using a button because right now it's set all that it needs to go and fly up right now is to have this one be activated for it to go down that one has to be activated and that's that's the basically the machine part so now for the button part you want a sticky piston right there simple as that and a block on top it doesn't matter what block um as long as you have a block it will go up and it will activate this and you can just go do 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 and put the button right on top of this because the button will send supercharge this block right here and then so this redstone gets activated and we'll go like that and off it goes Let's watch it get all the way to the top there. Such a beautiful machine. So fast. It's so smooth. Not a lot of parts are moving. It's really just two pistons there. It's not crazy expensive. Yes, it does require six slime blocks and four slime balls. But if you can get them, then it's not that expensive. Observers, they are not expensive. They just take some redstone, cobblestone, and... <clears throat> nether quartz and it takes one nether quartz to build an observer so that's not that hard at all i just wanted to say thank you guys for tuning in and i don't know if today was a shorter episode or not i hope it wasn't too bad i had just wanted to catch you up on everything that i've been doing and thank you for suggesting a flying machine and it took it was a challenge it took me hours because I wanted to figure out how to make it by myself without looking it up. And it took me hours. And finally, I came up with a design that would go... It, it was s very similar. And it used pretty much the same stuff and the same amount of stuff. But my observers were in the wrong spot or something. And then it just would... It would go up a few blocks and then it would go down and up over and over. So it would just kind of like stay flying in midair. And... Uh, it took me so long just to get to that point. Um, but 
I eventually figured it out and I'm happy that I did and I'm happy that I got to show you guys how to make it and I hope that you guys get to use this in your own worlds. I was able to do it in survival. I know you can too. It may take a while to collect those materials, but you can do it. I believe in you. Make sure you like. If you liked this video, press that like button. If and you comment, if you want to see a redstone contraption built, want to learn how it's made, if you don't know how redstone works, if and you want to build something, suggest it down below. I can build it, I'll show it to you, and we'll have that going in this world. Hit that notification button because that little bell icon down there, that will be giving you notifications whenever I come out with a new video, which should be at least weekly, sometimes more than that. The veil will definitely be weekly for sure. Other videos may come out more often, less often. We will see. Um, and I just hope that you guys will subscribe and I hope you loved this entire episode. And I hope it didn't go on too long and I hope it wasn't too short. There's a lot of hopes in here, but you know what? I'm running on the power of hope here. Peace out.